First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We have on the line Mr. Tom Hugard, Trader Tom. Tom, you've written a wonderful book called The Best Loser Wins, and God, I love that title. Can you tell us, uh, you know, how, how did you – I know you're really busy and you trade a whole lot. Two reasons that uh, we have questions here from our listeners, and one is why did you write a book like this, and uh, why, it, why is it that The Best Loser Wins? I wrote the book for myself. I, I had spent 10 years on a trading floor observing thousands of clients executing trade and realizing that human beings have a tendency to hide away uh, from pain and pains of losses and pains of arguments gone wrong. Essentially, we have a, 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 we, we have a heuristic, a, a, we have a, a brain that was designed to survive on the savanna as hunter gatherers, but is not exactly updated to the 21st century. And I witnessed well-educated people, well-financed people, uh, well-reasoned people, mature people, wise people, couldn't trade, and they simply could not consistently make money in the market. And I, I, I began to to really dig deep into this question after I left the trading floor and I started trading for myself because I think I fell for the illusion, as does every other trader that enters the financial market, enters into the illusion that trading is about your edge, be it your your macroeconomic edge, your fundamental edge, or your technical edge, your Fibonacci edge, or whatever your tool you're using. But the reality is that that's only one part of the equation because otherwise more people would win. If, if successful trading was simply a function of more of the same, more people would be successful. But it isn't the case, quite the contrary. So I began to dig into the way that our brains work, not for the benefit of everybody, anybody else but myself. But then once I, once I began, became much more aware of my own uh, uh, shortfalls and how even the most rational thinking man or woman is incapable of trading successfully, consistently. We all have good moments, but, we, but, but putting on the winning streak that just basically lasts forever and ever, that is not a question of technical analysis. You, you don't get good as a, you don't get really good as a trader by knowing everything there is to know about Bollinger Bands and, and, and Stochastics and, and MACD and, 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 and Fibonacci. But the flip side is that you don't get good at trading by meditating all day either. So you really need to work on two aspects of your game. You need to work on the technical game. And you really need to know your game. You really need to know the market, whether you attack it from a technical point of view, which I do, which is price action. But that's not enough. You also need to know your particular weaknesses, your trigger points. And what I witnessed as, as, a, as a broker for 10 years, or well, actually also a, a sales trader, was that, uh, that most people had times when they traded really well. In fact, I would argue that most people traded well most of the time, but when they didn't trade well, they actually managed to lose everything they had made with interest. 
and that was the that 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 was the dichotomy that I couldn't understand. Why like, why are we able to string on a, a series of, of seventy and eighty percent winning trades, yet on the twenty percent of the trades where we lose we lose everything that we made on the eighty percent plus more. And I knew the answer wasn't technical analysis. I knew it wasn't in the ratios of 38, 61, 78, 88, 94, you name it. It wasn't found in the GAN. You see, when I look at, for example, the GAN material that spans some 80 years ago, he was under the same delusional idea that you could draw your way out of the, 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 the notions that governs our psyche. And so he just made it overly complicated, and he sold a truckload of courses, which just had a whole lot of lines. He basically seduced an entire nation of traders into thinking that more technicals are better. And then the more lines you can draw on a chart, and the more you can link it to celestial events, the better. And then he had this notion that if we then misguided it into that you could find the secret clues in the Bible, well, then everybody was misled. And so I wrote the book to once and for all make people aware that actually the true, the, 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 the true Rosetta Stone to trading profits is found within yourself. Nothing more. Sure. Yep. And, then, and, and it, it, for me, trading is a battle with myself. It's a battle with a, a, a piece of software that sits on top of my shoulders that is 100,000 years old. And I don't need to know a standard deviation. I don't need to know how the algorithms work. I simply just have to study the charts. That's the beauty of chart analysis. But it doesn't stop there. Unfortunately, I also have to be mindful of the pressure that, that the, bar, the, the market excels on me. I have to be mindful of when do I need to step back because I'm simply not seeing things right. And that's the thing that, that I am grateful that I did experience on the trading floor because I could see perfectly, perfectly rational people uh, blow away their accounts because they couldn't remove themselves from the situation. A bit like when you are in an argument with your spouse, your partner, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, and you get so engrossed in the argument that actually none of you realize, maybe we should just take an hour apart here and let ourselves calm down. And so for me, trading is so representative of an inner battle. And the reason why I am good at what I do is because I spend every bit as much time studying myself and understanding the, the shortcomings that my brain has, what I call the default network mode, so that I understand what my trigger points are. And I don't think many people are doing that. Everyone is engrossed in the next seminar they can attend or, or the next <laughs> indicator yeah. they can uh, learn about or the next newsletter they can subscribe to. But actually, the real, the real eureka is right in front of you. <laughs> it's right sat on your shoulders. But, but confronting, confronting your, your, your innermost secrets is a painful process. And that's why 90% of more people lose, because no one wants to come face to face with your own inadequacies. Well, wow, that's really good stuff, Tom. I know you're very busy today. I want to thank you for being with us today. How will the folks order your book? Uh, I think uh, that Jeff Bezos, he might make himself even wealthier <laughs> if you go to Amazon.com and order the book. <laughs> hey, thank you very much, Tom. I want to have you again in a couple of weeks. I want to talk to you about your career at City Index and how you studied how the people lost. I think that would be a really good learning experience for folks. Could you be able to do that maybe? Anything for you, my friend. Thank you. Hey, thank you very much. I like to hear those words. Trader Tom, folks. of booming inflation where your purchasing power is eroded there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold vista gold's flagship asset is the mount todd gold project in the northern territory of australia this is australia's largest undeveloped gold project we are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district this is a large-scale low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this 
combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. Okay, folks, I tried to show you, uh, give me my two cents worth why the market turned. As you know, I'm a numbers person. I don't do anything with fundamentals. I know that report was pretty bad today. I could see that coming. That wasn't a hard one to see. But the bottom was very, very spectacular, folks. And the reason why is in my, with my computer, with Ensign, I have alerts set up so that if it gets near an alert, the beeper goes off telling me it's time to look. And when that hits that number, whatever it is, it lights up like a Christmas tree or, if you like, a slot machine. Either way, it doesn't make any difference. When it hit... Uh, my numbers on the NASDAQ, the 61% retracement of the low three years ago, all it is is a number, folks. But these algorithmic people, the ones that do these automated trading, they know what these numbers are because they've studied history. They can see that they hit. Do they hit all the time? No. But when they do, that's what's important. And when you hit one that's exactly like you were on the NASDAQ today, that was spectacular. And at the same time, you want to go to a... Uh, you know, over the last six weeks, I want to show you what, what it did in the, in the e, e mini S&P today because both of those hit exactly at the same time. And when that happens and the market starts to rally, you say, hmm, well, maybe that really means something. I don't know. But you can see here, here was the 1.27 expansion over the last five weeks. You can see it came right in, well, last three and a half weeks. See, it hit the exact in the exact number, the 1.27 expansion of this 382 retracement, and then down to this retracement here. Now, folks, let me give you a little tiny bit of a selling of the Brooklyn Bridge shares, okay? If you think this is the bottom of this bear market, um, just be really careful. And the reason why is, if you'll remember last Friday, we had on the air Mr. Peter Elides of Stock Market Cycles, and Peter's told us that we were looking for something to come down very hard into the market uh, right after the jobs report, which we did. And he also mentioned there was a possibility of a rally right after that. 
I don't know if you remember that, but he quoted and told you, and I talked about it on the show. I didn't have the uh, the the uh, information from it until uh, real early this morning, but I, I knew it was coming. It's from a gentleman named Aaron Brickman, and uh, you just go to Aaron Brickman at A G Brickman, and you'll be able to see the work that he has there. What he's done is he's compared three particular time frames in the market. One was 1929. Number two, uh, door number two is 1987. And door number three is where we are right now. And what he's basing this on, he's basing it on the lunar cycles. And we had a situation today where the market was supposed to bottom and have a very good rally. But then, boys and girls, after this rally is over, and after this rally is over, Katie bar the door because Katie's going to have to stand in front of the door. And that's where the real problem is going to come up. I don't know where it's going to come from. And I'll, I'll give you my two cents worth, of course. But, you know, that's what we're watching. Do you remember just a few weeks ago, we had that monster 900-point rally that turned out to be 1,400 points, 900 in one day, and then another three or 400 the next day. And then, of course, uh, they gave it all back. And we made new lows today in all of the indices, the Every single one, of course, the NASDAQ making the 618 on the weekly, uh, daily low on the uh, S&P. But uh, that's not the target on the S&P, folks, is still 3175. It hasn't really changed uh, at all. Today's action, and I'll give you just a heads up on this right here. Now, when you see, hold on just a second, when you see the 1.27 on this chart, the reason why it's not the actual low of the day is because it doesn't have enough data. I'm just showing you what happened over here. This is a very small time frame, folks. It's only, a, you know, what, a uh, hourly time frame? Yeah, it's just an hourly chart. And as you can see, the 382 is coming down. Okay, but if you, if you did the A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, guess where you come up, folks? 35.10. What was the low today? 35.10. What was the 1.27 expansion? 35.10. You think these computers, when they splice those things up, that they don't say bye, 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 bye? I mean, of course, that's what happened, and the thing took off like a rocket. And uh, believe me, I was I was uh, uh, Gene Roddenberry. I was in charge of the rocket ship, and I bought it. Uh, I think oh, I bought the Dow Jones. I bought the Dow Jones 50 points off the low of the day, okay? And um, let me show you how you can screw up a trade, okay? Let me get this up here because I'll give it to you here. This I was watching the two-minute, and I'll get it up here. Got to show you things that I do wrong because uh, if, I, if I do that, I can stay on the line forever because I do a lot of things wrong. Okay, here was the AI, which was the projected low of the day. It was supposed to come in right here. You can see this was the... The original low here was the this was the report of course there was your low coming in and if you look to the left here you'll see a nice little three drive pattern I bought it right there folks and being the quick Fibonacci ABCD guy that I am I was able to get out at the first ABCD and by the time my fill came back electronically it had moved 100 points that's how fast it was moving and then guess what my CQG machine stuck and I found out later that they were just swamped, that the data coming in was just just had just overwhelmed them. And that's what happened. And then, of course, we had the rally when continued to go up, made new highs, and we took out the highs of the last few days. Now, what we want to be watching and what you want to be watching is what I'm going to share with you next. OK, and this one, I spent a lot of time because I think I think I know where we are. But then again, maybe I don't. We're going to find out here in the next couple of days. This is Thursday, Friday. We're going to know by Friday or Monday. Get this up here. We're going to show you the chart of the E-mini S&P as we were looking at it. And as you can see, there's your 1.27 expansion to the bottom. You see this number right here, folks? Do you see that number right there? Johnny's raising his hands. Johnny, sit down, sit down. Three point. 382.382 is what that is of the high that we made way back here at the big Fibonacci number of 42 and change. And that is the one that's really going to do. If we get there today, no, I'm not going to get there today. We get there Friday or Monday. We, you, you really need it to get there. If you get there, that's the one that's going to, uh, that's the one you got to pay attention to. So I, 
I, well, you, I can't share these charts from this man, Mr. Aaron Brickman, because uh, those are his charts. But if you go, uh, uh, Peter Elides won't even share them either. So if you just go in and Google him or something, I think you, his name is Aaron Brickman. You should be able to take a look at those charts. And he shows you what the relationships are between 19... 29, 1987, and where we are right now, right here. And watch this two-day rally, folks, because after this, it gets really bad. And uh, who knows where it goes from there, but that's what we're paying attention to here. So I hope that makes sense. We're going to take a little break here. And uh, when we come back, we'll talk about some of the other markets that need to be addressed because there's a lot of things happening when you have days like today. So we'll be right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted the hourly chart of the Treasury bonds. I posted it here before. I'm going to do it again right now. This was before it happened. Uh, we had an order to sell at 120. 525 the high was 12527 what was amazing was that it hit it before the the CPI number came out so it made 12525 and it backed off to 12517 uh, and I made a video it was about 20 minutes before the report was coming out and I said no matter what this report is you put your stop two pips above that level which is 120 
125, 31, or 126, whatever you want to do. Don't risk more than three pips. That's $90. At the worst, $120. I said, I don't know what this report is going to say, but the emotionalism behind this and these markets, the, the Treasury bond market is many times bigger than the S&P and stock markets and all these things. These are real money. I mean, you know, billions of dollars. And so it hit that number, folks, and dropped twenty. $500. The same thing happened in crude oil. We sold crude oil short at the 382 of uh, 70, uh, 7, 77.72. The high had been 78.02. And I did the same thing there. I said, put your stop up just a tick or two above that. And crude oil broke $2,500. Now, crude oil came back and just like the stock market and went screaming above that 382. So, you know, that's why when you're risking, you know, six or $700 on the trade and it pays you three or four times what you got in it, you've got to either book some of it or, you know, move your stop down quite a bit. That's the only thing you really can do when you're trading. Because first of all, we're doing these on hourly charts and four hour charts. So it's not a weekly or monthly situation. Now, what's interesting about this particular move here, you'll notice this is a 382 on the weekly that goes all the way back to when we were trading at 146. And if you remember, that was another Fed day, and that was also a 382 retracement. Folks, no matter what they do, I don't care what China does, I don't care what the Great Britain does, and I don't care what Mr. Um, Powell does. We are in a bear market. It started two and a half years ago in Treasury bonds when they were 176. You all remember that, okay? So that's why. We're going to get a rally. Maybe this thing's going to continue on for another, you know, two, three weeks. I don't know. All I know is the overall structure of the Treasury bond market has turned negative and is going to stay negative for many years. The interest rates are going to keep going higher. I don't think they're going to go skyrocketing like we've had here from 3% to 7% for mortgages here in Tucson, Arizona. But, you know, they certainly could. You know, anything, that, you know, what goes up can also come down. You know, the, the cure for the cure for high prices is high prices. And the reason for that is prices get high enough, it, it monitors the demand. And the cure for low prices is low prices because you get prices low enough, everybody can afford it. So that's why you've got to remember that. So that was trade number one. Now, the other one that I want to show you is uh, could be a very, very interesting one because it's in the news. It's about the British pound and all the trouble that the bank is having over there. I want to get the British pound up to you so you'll be able to see this. This was one that we got whacked on this right away. In fact, I was doing the, the video on the uh, 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 hello operator uh, on the cr uh, crude oil on the S&P and also the uh, Treasury bonds. At the same time, I was doing the pound because we sold the pound at the 382 right here. And it had a profit of about oh, $250. And then all of a sudden, the market started to move above the previous high, breaking out the 382. And I said, you know, put your stop in, take the loss, get out of Dodge. You know, I don't think it's going to stop here. And it moved 300 pips all the way up here to the exact 786. So, honest to God, folks, check it yourself. It's an absolute 100%, 78% retracement for the high we made back here eight days ago. Now, with this wide-ranging bar like this, we can easily go up and make another A, B, C, D to the upside. But there's also the possibility this is nothing more than a three-day rally, and it might stop there. Right now, it's backed off, uh, I think, 30 or 40 pips. I mean, really not very much to even... Uh, to even counter anything. In fact, it's almost back to the highs already. So it's telling you that it's still got a long way to go here. So that's a couple of things that we're looking at. We're making new highs steer in the S&P here. We got up to 36.85. Remember the number we're looking for, folks, is 37.35. That's the one you want to see it, it tomorrow or the next day. Watch that number because if it doesn't get any higher than that, and if it doesn't get any higher than that, then you know you got something in your quiver or your arrow, your arrow thing, whatever you wanted to call it, that'll tell you that's uh, that's where we are. Can you believe this, folks? We have rallied, unbelievable. Uh, well, it's not as bad as it was. Not the Dow has only rallied about 600 points. You remember the day a few weeks ago when we rallied 900 points 
in one day. So those are things that uh, they're very, very easy to understand that when they happen, they can happen very, very quickly. Okay, now the next one we want to cover here in one second, and we'll get it up here. By the way, tomorrow our guest will be Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. On Monday, we are going to have as a return uh, is Mr. Bill Meridian from Cycles Research. He had charts that he thought were very important. And I said, if you think they're important, we're going to have you back as a guest. And so we definitely want to uh, have him uh, talking to us, too. So let's, uh, let's remind ourselves of that. So those are just a few of the things we've got scheduled for this week. And uh, tomorrow's Friday, of course. And uh, then we got next week on Monday, we'll have Bill Meridian, I believe on Tuesday or Wednesday, we're going to have Tim Bost on, and he's going to go over uh, these things that we're looking at uh, that told us that we were coming down hard into October, and that's the main thing. Now, I wanted to share some information uh, from one of my old friends from 60, 1965, Larry Williams, when we traded together there at the Clayton Brokerage there in Los Angeles. Let me get the chart in so we can see the whole thing. And this is a chart that Larry has been looking at for cycles in inflation. And what he's showing here, and you know, you can't dodge the guy. I mean, you got to pay attention to him because he's right a lot. And what he's showing on here is, look at this. The red line is the inflation, okay? And the, the black line is the cycle. You know, so my goodness, I mean, look at this. See, the red line is what the forecast is. Okay, and this is actually what it's actually done. So we should be topping in here. Will it be today or tomorrow? I don't know. But it says it could be topping in here. Something, And sometimes these don't work. You know, but uh, that's what he's paying attention to. And I think, you know, you have to respect someone that's got all the experience that Larry has. Now, the next one we want to talk about is another one that's this really, when I saw this, I said, oh, my goodness, this is really important from my perspective because I look at, you know, a contrary opinion of you know who's bullish and who's bearish, but but look at this today here. We have people more bearish than they've ever been. I, most of people, you know, 1929 is not in the in, in the in the mix anymore. But going back all those years, I think there's what uh, 50 or 60 years in there, decades, that this is the most bearish ever that they have that they kept records of. Boy, that that in itself will tell you, you probably get something pretty going, you know, going the right way. Now, I I saw this chart and I find it hard to believe because I know the market's been coming down, but it's been coming down very orderly. There's been nothing, you know, crazy about this. We're going to take a break. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. Data White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. 
Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for Dave's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, uh, I'm going to go back to Woodward and Bernstein, you know, and we're going to talk about uh, follow the money. There's the U.S. dollar index there, folks. You can see it's been up eight days. It's sitting right there at the old 786. We mentioned that in the newsletter, that it should be some pretty strong resistance. And look what happened today. This was up to date, folks, up until about an hour ago. And it's sold off. There's nothing bearish about that chart yet. But the fact that it went up there and stopped, now we got to see what the retracements are. If this is really a bull market, you're going to get a two- or three-day correction, and then we're going to proceed up. Now, what happened today in the stock market, I, can, I say this with all sincerity, and I believe it in my heart. These bottoms were made when those numbers were hit, standard, two or three standard deviations in the Russell, uh, the S&P hitting the exact 1.27 expansion the NASDAQ hitting the exact 618 on the weekly chart. Does one of the numbers make any difference? No, but when they all flash, it does. And that's what these folks that have these algorithmic trading things do. They have this all about numbers. There's nothing about, there's, they have keywords in there. Like, you know, if a guy says uh, abortion, you know, I'm using this as a crazy example. Uh, well, let's use it, say, uh, uh, let's say uh, interest rates. Okay, interest rates pops up, then that could trigger them going short or long for two minutes, 30 seconds, whatever they do. They look for key words that makes the thing, you know, move. But the most things that they do is they follow these number sequences. Now, you say, oh, well, Larry, that's not true. Well, you, all you, after you see it day after day, you got to say, well, you know, <laughs> maybe it is true. You know, all I can do is I can see it over and over again. Do I make money every day like that? No, 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 I don't. But I follow those numbers and I watch them. And when I see them, that gives me the edge that I have. And that's all I have. Like Curly says, I know one thing. And that is I do one little thing. And that's Mark said, it's A, B equals D, D. And that's what I focus on. And that's got me to where I am now. And I'm certainly not going to change anything any different. I want to share with you a really cool picture of what the sequence really looks like when you're looking at full moons and new moons. And we got another eclipse coming up here on the 21st. That's when the bottom is supposed to be coming in based on our friends, uh, Mr. Bost and uh, also uh, Stan Harley, who will be our guest tomorrow. Tim will be on next week. But this is what it looks like graphically when you see the full moon. Excuse me, this is the new moon here. It goes through all the moon nodes. It goes over to the full moon and then starts the sequence all over. The full moon will be right here in the middle, 14 days. The cycle is 27.4 days. There you are halfway through. And that's when you have the big, beautiful moons like we have right now going on. Now, what Alan Brickman did is he went and looked at these uh, cycles. And basically what he was showing you 
is that these cycles are the exact same things happening right now that were happening in 1929, 1987, and 2022. So, uh, folks, no matter what it is, wherever this market ends and whether it crashes or not, I don't really know. I just follow the patterns. That's all I do. But all I do know is this is going to be what we've seen so far has not even even come close to what we did, you know, back on uh, August the uh, uh, 20. You know, it was August the 20. I forget. It was August the 28th where we had that really, really big. I don't remember what day it was. It was a 900 point rally. And then the next day was another 500 points. And that's what made me say that sometime in the month of October, we're going to see a move down in the Dow Jones of one day. That'll be 1.618 at 14. So you're going to see a, a move of, uh, you know, 20, 20, 2200, uh, which is 1.618 at 1400. So that's what I see. That's the same thing I did with Bill Griffith, you know, way back in 1987 when he was at TFNN and I was his guest. Peter Elides was his guest all the time and Arch Crawford was uh, his guest. So, you know, these are things I remember. So I just have to you know, show you what I'm looking at. So that's what I'm trying to do here is give you a little heads up of what I see going on. But that dollar index is really important. If this, if it had reversed like two weeks of work or something like that, then, oh, yeah, this is it. But that didn't happen today. And why did the bonds stop right where they're supposed to at 125.25? Why did they do that? You know, why did these other things stop exactly where they should have stopped? Well, that's what we're trying to do here. But interest rates are going to higher. They're not going to change overnight here. You know, the Federal Reserve is going to be keep pumping that stuff until they're until they're blue in the face. You know, that's pretty much what you're, uh, you know, what you're looking at. So I, I hope that's good information for you. But uh, you know, that's pretty much it. Uh, by the way, uh, we are moving forward. Maybe we might have a uh, a seminar with Tom Hugard, myself, and Dr. David Paul in Las Vegas. Uh, possibility uh, in in april maybe and uh, we're going to see if we can work that out it's going to be a thursday and friday 10 hour full day trading session and then on saturday we're going to do some teaching we'll be teaching along the way but saturday will be more teaching and review for the following week and we're going to have some you know some surprise guests hopefully pop in and uh well, supposed to we, we're not sure yet it's about eh, 35 40 percent right now but uh that's what i'd like to do i haven't been in vegas in a long time and well yeah, anyway it doesn't make any difference what i'll have to tell you but that's important okay i want to we got the break coming up here uh, i want to talking about this oh oh the scam call just a minute let me turn this off boys and girls uh scam scam from my good friend Mark Douglas, you said here my old sidekick would sit right by him. I was the wingman. He was the he was the he was the top gun. When you really believe that trading is simply a probability game, concept like right or wrong, win or lose, don't have the same significance, and they don't. You listen to Tom Hugard today. You know, winning or losing wasn't important to him. It was how he acted to it, and that's what you really have to do. I had a good day today, but I could have had a whole lot better day. I made a couple mistakes along the way, took profits a little too a little too soon on some other things, but that's all part of the game, folks. So let's uh, remind ourselves that uh, you know it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. And I want, and we have a caller calling in. Yes, sir. What can I do for you? Uh, hi, Larry. It's uh, Jeff near Philadelphia. I, um, yes, sir. I was calling in to thank you, actually. I had called in the show, uh, I don't know, a couple months ago or so, and asked if you had a way of knowing when it's going to be a trending day. Because I take a, like a reversal trade in the morning if that doesn't work when it's a trending day. And uh, you said, yes, uh, take a look at the 30-minute opening range, and if the price continues to trend away uh, from that range, you have a trending day. And I've been um, using that ever since, and it works uh, very well. And it worked actually this morning. I was looking to do my morning oh, reversal yeah. trade. But after the 30-minute opening range, it just kept trending up and away. And I said, no, it's a trending day. Don't take that trade. And, um, and it you know, kept me out of trouble. So I wanted, oh. to, uh, I wanted to call in and thank you in person for, for sharing that. Well, uh, oh, uh, with Jeff, that, 
that makes me feel good. Does it come with a cash stipend by any chance, Jeff? I'll send it right away. <laughs> hey, listen, when I come to Philadelphia, I'll take you to lunch. How's that? Thank you, sir. I look forward Thank to meeting you. you someday. You betcha. We'll be right back, folks. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC Capital Market Assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I'm posting the chart here of the S&P. You'll notice here this is the daily chart, excuse me, the weekly chart. Our eye on the prize here, folks, is down there at 31.75. Okay, now what I'd like for you to look at here is where we were today. Remember that 35.08 uh, hit? There was the 1.27 number again showing on the weekly. That's when that bell rang at the Algo Traders, just like the NASDAQ. That's what caused the rally. This rally's nothing, folks. Yeah, I know it's exciting. It's nothing. You know, it can go up another two hours or all day today and tomorrow, maybe even early Monday, but we're going back down. If this is the low of the year, I have the words of that great Chinese philosopher. No, he wasn't Chinese. He was Japanese. And that will be sayonara. And I will say goodbye to technical analysis and start using a system that I learned many, many years ago. It's called hope and pray. And you do more hoping and you do more praying. But I will give up technical analysis 
if this is the low for the year. Lows for the year, folks, let a lot of people get in. This didn't let many people get in. This caught people by surprise. Hello, operator. Let's get ready. we got some more things to do. We've got places to go and things to do. Rise and shine, little buckaroos. we got more to do. Tomorrow we're going to be doing it with none other than Stan Harley of this Harley Stock Market Letter. And he's good. Well, he's been good. And let's see if he concurs with what I'm talking about, and uh, we'll go from there. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And thank you for putting up with me and listening to me today, folks. I really enjoy doing this stuff for TFNN. There are a bunch of stand-up guys there. See you later, folks. On the flip side tomorrow with Stan Harley.